welcome to the LinkedIn Get Client Summit. Uh, we have a special, special guest today. He's going to be talking about content marketing. Uh, his name is Shane Brooks. How are you doing, Shane? What is going on, guys? Glad to be here and glad to share some insights because, listen, I know how challenging producing high-quality content can be, and that's why I'm here to share some of my knowledge that I've acquired over the years. So, so John, lead the way. So before we get started, we always start with some quick fire questions, uh, Shane. So, um, oh, snap, here we marketing. go. <laughs> content marketing is key with LinkedIn totally. because um, even Gary Vaynerchuk keeps talking about if you're a company, if you're an individual, you need to be putting out a ton of content with LinkedIn right now. And, link, and you know, Shane um, has a, an amazing software that's really going to help your content marketing. And that's why I really brought him on. I really want you guys to have a look at this software because it will help you brand yourself better, get more engagement going. And it's really important. Before that, though, let's start with the quick um, questions. Uh, just give me yeah. a few seconds while I get these questions up here. So uh, let's just start with the first one, mister. Um, you know, what do you love, really, about being an entrepreneur? Freedom. You know, when I was a personal trainer, which is what I did for about nine years, I've done over 10,000 personal training sessions. In that time, I loved what I did, but, you know, I had sessions that started at 5 a.m. and I didn't finish the day until usually about 11 p.m. and I did that six days a week. And, you know, I loved what I did, but I have a lot of family members that have uh, some pretty serious health conditions. And so being able to have the freedom to go and help them when they need help and, you know, visit them in the hospital when they need it and, you know, be able to spend quality time with all of my other family members. That's really what I like most about it. Fantastic. Um, what is your favorite social media channel right now? It's oh, it. man. So, you know, I, I've been thinking about this lately over the last couple of weeks. And I think it, I think, you know, what I love most is results. And, you know, I think results depends on what it is that you're trying to achieve. And so if I was going to choose what my favorite platform is, I have to choose what is the goal that I'm trying to accomplish. So for something like LinkedIn, man, there is nothing better if you're trying to go B2B. You know, if you're trying to find people that can work with you on a business level, it's the ultimate platform. There's no other better platform, but you have platforms like Facebook, Facebook, which are so built around engagement and shares and likes and comments. But then you have YouTube videos where, you know, people are watching YouTube as much as they're watching like Netflix or, you know, traditional TV. So if you're trying to create a brand that people engage with visually through producing content, YouTube is awesome. But I have all these friends, my little brother, everybody's going to Snapchat now. So everybody's using Snapchat. So if you're trying to achieve a younger customer base, then maybe Snapchat is the way to go. So I think if I was going to choose what my favorite is, I have to first choose what is the goal that I'm trying to accomplish. So hopefully that clears it up there. It's not a clear answer, but it is clear when you determine what your goal is. No, you've rounded it up very well. Uh, so what, when are you most more productive? In the morning, afternoon, or evening? Great question. So uh, typically in the morning, that's when I do a lot of my one-to-one uh, -one meetings, creativity. Um, that's when the ideas are flowing. But later in the evening, that's when I'm like, bang, 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 just getting projects completed, sending stuff off. So typically in the morning, I feel more creative, where in the evening, I feel more task-oriented and just knocking things off the list, if that I'm, makes I'm, sense. I'm really glad you confirmed that, because in the morning for me as well, I do my creative stuff. Yeah. By the afternoon, my brain starts to wane a bit, and yeah. so I can do the more manual you know, types of stuff. So that was, that was a good, that, that was a good one. So do you remember how you made your first dollar online? Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, totally. I have a unique situation where, you know, I was doing personal training and, you know, I was working just crazy, crazy hours. And I was smart in the sense that when I moved from Philadelphia to Houston, Texas, I knew that, you know, I, I came from not the best of, of areas. And when I moved to Texas, I was like, this is who I want to be when I move here. And I want to be a personal trainer. That's my, that's my goal. 
And so I went through all the schooling you could go through. I, you know, went and started working at a gym and I went and chose to work at a facility where I wasn't going to make as much, but I was going to get into a network of people that had much higher income level levels. And that kind of led me to meeting a guy named Justin Anderson, who became my best friend. I traveled through Europe with him twice. Um, and eventually he asked me to be his business partner one-on-one -on -one with his software as well as local marketing services. So one of the first dollars that I ever made was actually through uh, selling services to local businesses and then outsourcing the work to Justin to get the work done. Fantastic, fantastic. Great story there. Um, I don't know how this question comes in, but how do you <laughs> like your steak? Rare, well done, or you, you choose? Yeah, you know, I, I think once again, it comes down to what steak and what quality. You know, if you have a very high quality steak, going a little bit more um, rare is better. And when you go lower quality steak, you definitely want it more cooked. <laughs> I, I'm more of a, of a well type of steak person. I don't like right. the irony taste of, uh, of some of those bloody steaks out there. Right, right, right. Good one. Uh, so what do you love? I mean, LinkedIn is huge right now. Yeah. What's happening to it right now. What do you love about LinkedIn the most? Um, so I think I answered this in the previous question, but I think that my favorite thing about LinkedIn is your ability to know exactly who your target audience is. Uh, so for example, if I, I actually have a perfect example. My cousin runs a very successful roofing company. They do uh, over a million dollars a month in sales and he, he doesn't do any advertising at all. No advertising for his business. All he does is just goes on LinkedIn engages with people, gets them to like go grab a beer or something and then closes contracts. That is it. That is his lead generation method is just smoothing people up on LinkedIn and turn it into contracts. Engagement, so, engagement, engagement. Totally, totally. So uh, you've traveled to Europe a few times uh, yeah. recently, you know. Yeah. What surprised you the most about Europe? What surprised me the most about Europe? I think that for me, you know, like I said, I... I didn't really ever think that it was even possible for me to go to Europe because you know, I was a personal trainer. I wasn't making a ton of money. So the bubble of limitations that I lived in was, you know, this is who I am. You know, this is what I can achieve. And uh, a family member of mine got in a really bad uh, boating accident and became a paraplegic. And it was a lot. She went through tons of surgeries and things. And when that happened, I was like, man, I could literally walk out of this hospital right now get hit by a car and, you know, not be able to do the things that I want to do with my life. And right around that time, Justin kept asking me, Hey, come to Europe with me. Come, come to Spain. I'm going to this event. I'm going to that event. I'm like, man, I can't do all that. I don't got the money, the time to do it. That happened. And I was like, you know what? I remember it. Like Justin was over my house for a pool party and he's like, Shane, go get it done. And I went, I got my passport and I flew to Europe. And when I got there, I think a lot of the preconceived conceptions of maybe what Europe was going to be like, what the food was going to be like, is always different because you have your picture in your mind of what you've seen in the movies. Um, but when you get there, it's, it's much different, obviously. And uh, I think that, you know, one of my favorite things was just being an American in, in Europe. Because as long as you're friendly, people are like, oh, you're American. Let, let's go have some fun. I'm going to show you the town. And so people are so welcoming to that. So even though you stand out, it, it's, it's almost your kind of foot in the door. So I, I love how welcoming everybody was. And the food, oh, delicious. I love it. Authentic, right? Yeah, totally. So, uh, fantastic. So and History, too. I mean, our country is so young. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Our country is so young in comparison to you guys. I mean, we've been around for... You know, what, 300 years compared to, I mean, you guys have like buildings that are three, four times older than that. It's crazy. <laughs> That's right. So um, let's segue now into, you know, what you do on a daily basis. Yeah. So totally. what do you, you know, obviously um, tell us more about Be A Hero. Tell us about this because uh, this is now being, I've seen the way you guys have grown this and I've seen the way you guys have helped a lot of people out there with this. Just, Tell us about Be A Hero. Yeah, and really it, it comes down to one simple thing. Um, you know, so many entrepreneurs or so many, uh, you know, people want to become entrepreneurs uh, and they're, 
you know, when I first got started there, I always got pitched on like MLMs and, you know, things like that. I didn't even know internet marketing existed when I, you know, first left to Europe. And I went to an event where I met all these people like you. I met you at my first event and, um, you know, really opened my eyes to this internet marketing journey. And when I started selling services to businesses, the only reason I could sell the services confidently and actually bring results was because I was using the team that Justin's had for the past 15 years. So he's worked with, you know, multi, he's an eight figure marketer. I mean, he's worked with multi-billion dollar clients like Walmart, Citgo, DreamWorks. And, you know, you guys know all those brands. And, uh, you know, what I was able to do is I was able to go and simply help people with things that almost seem obvious to internet marketers, things like posting on social media, like kids know how to do that, but you know, these businesses are not doing it. And so I don't want to be on the hook to be the expert. So I just was able to transfer that work to Justin, be able to collect the check and be able to feel good that I'm helping the business and I'm making money at the same time. And so when we created be a hero, you know, all these people were buying Justin software. He's acquired about 70,000 customers in the last uh, like 10 years. And he's got the number one SEO tools on the marketplace for link building, for backlink creation. So as these people were buying the tools, they were saying, I got the hammer, but how do I build the house, right? I, I understand that I have a cool software, but I don't know how to turn this into a business. And so there were three business models that we've succeeded with that we could teach people which is, you know, obviously affiliate marketing, which takes a lot of time to learn how to build email sequences, lead magnets, acquire leads, handle churn rate, all these things. Um, we could teach people e-commerce, but you need to have a budget and you need to be able to, to you know, uh, battle big companies like Amazon. And then we were like, you know what, why don't we just teach people what we started with, which was local marketing, because very low barrier of entry, you probably know almost everything you need to know as far as like the why, you know, like, hey, you need to build an email list, you need to post on social media. So what Be A Hero really is, is basically what I was offered when I first started. So, you know, my ability to rely on Justin and outsource everything to him confidently and scale my business is what Be A Hero is all about. You're able to go to businesses offer software solutions as well as a team to execute on work and you're not on the hook to be the guy that's doing all the fulfillment because as an agency that's where most people have trouble scaling is they hit a glass ceiling number one you're battling with trying to be the expert at, at everything you're kind of the the you know thing that is stopping you from growth because you're always spending time in the trenches and the other part of you know things is you're always spending time on fulfillment and if you're always spending time on fulfillment, you can't be talking to new business and keeping new business coming in. So what Be A Hero really is, is three solutions that anybody that ever wanted to start a local agency really is going to be able to acquire. So number one is the blueprint, the training, knowing what to do, how to sell, and how to actually sell clients on something that matters and keeps them wanting to keep working with you. Hence, Be A Hero. Then the second solution is all of the tools that you would need to get the work done. So everything from social media management to press release marketing to advertising to, you know, auditing websites. So it's about $700,000 worth of software. And then finally is done for you services. So we have checked off every single obstacle that you could potentially face so that you're not on the hook. Now at this point, you know, the joke that Justin and I make is the only thing different is we could go move in your house, change our name and run your business for you, but obviously we can't do that. So we're going to offer the tools, the training, as well as direct access to our team like I had when I first started. So that's what Be A Hero is. Fantastic, fantastic. And that's why I'm so excited uh, for you to be teaching this content yeah. marketing right now because you will allow a lot of people on LinkedIn to focus on going to get their customers while the work, the real work, the daily work, the work that very Gary Vaynerchuk talked about in terms of content is being put out there. The good content has been put out there. Thank you very much, Shane Brooks, for uh, <clears throat> you know coming on here and you know giving us this quick fire round. Totally. And now I'm going to you know take you to uh, your desktop to do your presentation. Absolutely. Do you mind if I fill in one single thing before we jump over there? So you said something beautifully when we first started, which is Gary Vandecheck's passion for content marketing. 
And I think that if you were to look at every business, especially local businesses, it works in three phases. It works in building the foundation, making sure they're set up on all the social profiles, producing high quality content that's going to reinforce the authenticity of the brand and what they represent as a whole that they can engage their community with. And then finally, producing an irresistible offer that brings them leads and sales, right? Well, what we're going to do here for you guys is, listen, I know there's tons of different solutions out there that are always trying to sell you on real expensive fees. And you know, I wanted to do something really unique, something that I, I bet not many people are willing to do. When it comes to content marketing, you have two things. You have the production of content, and then you have the releasing of content, the scheduling of content. Well, to schedule content, you're gonna to need to buy expensive software like Hootsuite, Hootsuite Buzzsumo, um, you know, uh, Sprout Social, Buffer. There's all these tools out there, but you're gonna be paying $97 or more per month and what I wanted to do for you guys was I built a training that we're going to jump into where I'm going to teach you how to produce amazing content, really following Gary Vanacek's model, which is the jab, jab, cross. I think that's what it's called, where you're giving good value and then hitting them with promotion, yeah, right? Hope. And that's what I talk about in the training is how do we produce good content that speaks to your audience, that engages them, and what makes them want to do business with you, but how do you do it in a fashion that is systemized and not costing you hours and hours and hours of time? And so, really, you have two options. You either schedule everything out each day, which is going to consume quite a lot of time, or use a software. So, Justin, I convinced him to just offer Content Hero for free. So no costs are associated with this. And you're gonna be able to add five different websites, up to 25 different social accounts. So if you want to build a brand, I'm gonna teach you how to produce amazing content and then how to schedule it with free access to our software with no strings attached, just as a special thank you for Jonathan having me on and being able to share some extra knowledge with you guys. You guys heard it here first. The key is, I've seen this software work, they normally charge for this, but because of the summit, you guys get this software for free. That's why you've got to go and watch what his little demo right now is training. You're gonna get, you're gonna be amazed by this software. Thank you very much, Shane, for coming Absolutely. along. And um, guys, go enjoy this demo. See you guys. I'll talk to you soon.